From Rogan claiming that The Rock is cooking steroids, to Kevin Nash alleging the former WWE champ is only taking Scipione, here's everything about Dwayne Johnson being accused of using steroids. It was Joe Rogan, of all people, who accused him. Somehow, that's not surprising, considering all the controversial stuff Rogan has said before in his podcast. Still, I don't think anyone was prepared for this one. So you wouldn't maintain that kind of mass as you naturally got older, normally, no. right? No, definitely not. Here's what the former television presenter said about The Rock last year in December. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? It's steroids. And he didn't stop there. No, sir, he practically demanded that the former wrestler come clean over whether or not he uses steroids. Wondering where all that came from? Well, his cannon was pointed at someone else before, Liver King. Last year, around the same time, Brian Johnson, also known as the Liver King, was exposed for using steroids. The YouTuber had previously built a reputation for promoting an ancestral diet of bull testicles and raw animal livers. But Johnson shocked his fan base by posting a TikTok video where he apologized for misleading his fans and admitted the use of anabolic steroids. With more than 2.6 million views on YouTube, the video sparked a lot of controversy online to say the least. And when asked if I've ever taken steroids, I've always said no, I don't touch the stuff, not gonna touch the stuff, never touch the stuff. That was a lie. And, of course, Joe Rogan, of all people, had something to say about it. He invited YouTuber Derek from The More Plates, More Dates, who specializes in exposing celebrities for steroid use. During the episode, Rogan said he wasn't surprised at all about the Liver King situation. But instead of just focusing his attention on Liver King, Rogan took a few shots at The Rock as well. The UFC host accused the Hollywood actor of the same behavior. In his expert opinion, there's simply no way you can look like that in your 40s, or to use his words, there's not a f chance in hell. No chance in hell. As big as The Rock is, at 50, the 55-year-old pointed out how the Fast and Furious actor isn't any different to what he was at 30. He even pulled up some pictures of The Rock after a heavy gym session. And so he demanded the former wrestler to make a video in response to the Liver King video. Why a video, you ask? Well, Joe thinks that there's a responsibility you have to the people who are listening to you. It's understandable if you don't want to talk about it. But if you are, then Rogan strongly feels that you need to be honest about it. He doesn't feel that the use of anabolic drugs is wrong per se, it's just a matter of being upfront with your audience. On the other hand, Joe's guest was less harsh with his words. Derek pointed out that it's kinda normal. The YouTuber said that almost every actor who lands a superhero role finds himself in a steroid cycle of some kind. Obviously, it depends on the role. You don't expect someone playing the role of Spider-Man to be pumping themselves full of steroids. But roles like Captain America, Thor, Superman, or Black Adam, it's very likely likely that the actors use drugs to bulk themselves. Derek even went as far as to say that steroid usage must somehow be part of the contract these actors sign. But Rogan wasn't really interested in hearing all that. He thinks that the Black Adam uses drugs frequently, and he's willing to stick by it. Well, to be fair, The Rock did use steroids once. Yeah, he said so himself. It was in an interview with MTV to promote his movie Race to Witch Mountain a couple of years back. The actor shocked everyone when he said that he used steroids, back when he was playing football for for the University of Miami. This was when he was 18 or 19. Johnson and his buddies came up with the idea, but they didn't know what exactly they were doing. Now, you can either commend the former wrestler for being candid about his experience with steroids, or you can be like Rogan and question him. If Johnson used it once, what's to say he didn't do it again? The WWE is known for its long history of steroid abuse. Remember all that drama surrounding Vince McMahon where he basically gave the wrestlers free reign? Not to mention that Rogan was kind kinda right about The Rock going through dramatic changes in his physique throughout his wrestling career. Yeah, well, The Rock has a few words to say for people thinking along these lines. He cleared it all up in an interview with Fortune last year. Dwayne clearly stated that other than that one moment of experimentation, he's led a steroid-free life. And talking about his critics, the 50-year-old said that it's only natural that there'll be people out there who say pointing his finger at the people who want to negate the hard work he puts in. But for them, The Rock has one clear message. Training is my anchor. As a fitness freak, Johnson is all about being on a regimented schedule, setting a goal and failing a goal. And it's these philosophies of being an athlete that carry him today. Well, what about Rogan then? What does The Rock have to say about him? Well, he didn't say anything about that. But I can tell you one thing, there's no goodwill between these two gentlemen. Back in February last year, The Rock publicly 
quickly withdrew support for the podcast host after a video of him using the N-word started making rounds on the internet. Back then, singer-songwriter India Ari posted a video of Rogan saying the racial slur 20 times on his podcast. This was right around the time when Spotify was taking down episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for spreading misinformation about the COVID pandemic. Now, The Rock had actually praised Joe for his response to the entire situation. The podcast host promised to balance things out. Johnson wrote, Great stuff here, brother. Perfectly articulated. To Rogan posting about telling the truth. Heck, the wrestler turned actor even said that he looked forward to breaking out the tequila with Rogan on his podcast. But then Twitter user and author Don Winslow pointed out that Johnson was supporting someone who was racist. And that's when The Rock reprimanded his ways. He wrote, I hear you, as well as everyone here 100%. Apparently, he wasn't aware of the video before his comments, but now he knows the complete story. And since then, things have been prickly between the two. A shame, considering that the two were kind of best buds before. Back in 2014, Johnson posted a photo of him working out in the gym, and Rogan wrote, Well, you're looking sexy as f you big handsome Keep inspiring. Much love. Of course, The Rock wrote back, saying, I'm a handsome Keep kicking my ass, my brother. Big love. Nothing but a bunch of gym bros hyping each other up. If only we knew back then. But, you know, Rogan may slam the corporate champion for steroid use every now and then. He still respects him at the end of the day. In his own way, I might add. A couple of days after the controversial steroid podcast, Rogan sat down with longtime friend Bert Kreischer for an episode. The two fellows were talking about a number of things before they landed on Dr. Manhattan. Bert asked the former martial artist if he had watched the new show, to which Joe replied that he stopped after after watching one episode. Why, you ask? Well, in his opinion, the guy cast for the main role wasn't a perfect fit. In the American's view, he just wasn't built right. And Dr. Manhattan, well, he's supposed to be the most perfect Greek god sculpted out of granite. He's God, not a human with a t-shirt on, according to the comedian. So if not Abdul-Mateen II, then who? Well, much to everyone's surprise, Rogan thinks that someone like The Rock should play Dr. Manhattan. Johnson's built like a superhero, and there's no way you can have a regular regular guy playing the part. He also parted Abdul with some advice, saying that he needs to do some squats and needs to go to Iron Paradise with The Rock. The UFC commentator is certainly singing a different tune from before, but you know what? It's actually good. The fans had their pitchforks sharpened and were no doubt gonna come for Joe. One Twitter user wrote that they believe The Rock about not using steroids, saying that his body looks the way it does due to hard work and dedication, and that Rogan is simply a hater. Yikes. Another user wrote that the podcast host needs to focus on getting his body in shape, and that The Rock has consistently worked out all his life. Another fan tweeted about how Rogan needs to learn how to shut up, because nobody wants his opinion. Heck, even WWE professionals don't agree with him. Kevin Nash, two-time WWE Hall of Famer, said Dwayne is 50. If he is taking anything, it's because his doctor said so. The former WWE champ speculated that it could be either Enanthate or Cipionate. He also added that someone like Dwayne is very disciplined. Not to mention Kevin actually worked with The Rock during the end of his WWE run. So from Kevin Nash claiming The Rock takes Scipionate to Rogan calling him out for steroids, here was everything you needed to know about Dwayne Johnson being accused of using steroids.